Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and another video. So after an overwhelming response to the first video, I thought that I, well, hey, I was compelled to to make the second video and to show you guys exactly what the process is uh, to balance the impeller further. So yeah, enjoy this video guys and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and the comments guys, the comments. Please uh, add comments to if you if you feel free feel free to add comments just so that i know uh what your any questions or any things that uh you know is on your mind hope you enjoy this video guys okay guys so like i said welcome back so this is now a different impeller to the one on the data capturing because that one i i delivered to the customer already so the process the the process going further which is obviously what i'm going to show you guys now is the same regardless that there's a different impeller the only difference between this impeller and the other one is that the diameter is 14 millimeter bigger and uh, the weight is uh, four kgs or so more Okay, so once you reach your 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 speed, this graph will pop up and this will show you that 15.1 grams at 78 degrees must be removed. So I'll stop this now and I'll print this for, for the for the report. Is it, this is what the, the report looks like you can see that's the, the type of impeller that's the mass of the impeller that I captured um, it's a bronze impeller and labeled it number two for the records and there's all the little data so they can see that's the mass it must come off so the, the revs was 498, which is close to 500 because at 495, she started registering. 15 grams must come off. Okay, and you can see the machine says unqualified. So now I start removing the, the mass from the impeller. Okay, so this is to prevent the shaft from lifting off the pedestal because of the weight of the impeller up front there. So there's no weight here to counterbalance that weight. So you put this thing on here just to prevent it from flipping off. and see what the masses are that must come off so she's running up to a speed and at, at about 495 it will start registering because I set the, the, the balancing speed at 500 
as I explained in the previous video. Just wait for it to get up to that. This knob here, you actually turn to speed up or slow down the machine. So just taking a bit of time so I can just turn that knob just a little bit just to speed it up. And that's it going now there. So it's racing. So as you can see, it's 30 now. Early on, it was 15. And you can see the dot moved slightly closer to the core. So I'll just switch it off. And I'll remove the I'll remove the impeller again. And I'll grind a bit more. So the machine's actually said now it's 13.67 at 247 degrees. So the weight is, is shifting around on the impeller. We so saw earlier it was in the 70s and it was 15 degrees. So it's becoming less, but the unbalanced masses are shifting around the impeller. So the computer's actually working out exactly where those unbalanced masses are. So at 247 degrees, I must take a 13. Right, so I grinded that mark that uh, it was there early on. Stop putting it on the machine. You can see I shifted the belt a little bit just to pre just to have more tension at the back here, and I could take that thing off. So she's busy running now. Just by shifting this belt, I could I could take the that uh, off at the back here because now the belt is actually pulling this enough down prevented from lifting anyway she's running up to speed now there she's on 500 and there we go as you can see now the machine is actually saying that uh, she's good she's only 1.67 grams at 146 but you can see the 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 dot is is quite in the core and the machine is saying she's actually good to go but what i will do is i'll actually try to bring this down to under one gram so I'm actually going to grind a little bit more try to take it less than a gram so let's just switch the machine off and let's start grinding again I don't actually remove it remove the impeller from the machine I actually kind of just touch it with the grind on the machine here because I mean there's not much to come off so it's 150 51 degrees which is round about there I must take off a mistake of one gram well yeah let's say one gram okay so i'm just gonna get the set the grind up and i'm gonna just do that quickly Right, she's running again. Comes up to speed. Let's see what uh, what she says. She's up to speed now. Okay, so she actually. It's, the machine is still saying it's good, but it actually increased, so I'm going to just take a little bit more off. Alright, so I grinded that that spot off again, that uh, it showed 2 grams or something. So let's see, let's see what the computer says now. 
Going up to speed. 484, 488. Okay, she'll start registering now. Okay, there we go. As you can see, guys, it's less than, it's just under half a gram, which is actually nothing. You can see the circle. The, the core is almost virtually in the center of the core. So this one is good to go. So I'll actually stop the machine and actually print. And I'll actually print it. I'll just uh, run it up to speed again so I could do the printing. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could. If I really wanted to, I could actually try to get it closer. But I mean, that will. That's I mean, that's good enough. Okay, so let's print this. Right. So, I'm going to run a comparison. You can see when I started, the machine needed said I must take a 15 point one grams at 78 degrees printed it it showed the 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 heavy the heavy mass at the degree and she unqualified it i can see the machine is saying that anything less than three grams would be good enough for for this size impeller and for this weight of an impeller you know so, so anything under three grams would actually qualify this impeller as balanced considering the mass of it and the diameters and, and, and things like that so if you take the qualified one, you can see all the data is all the same. Obviously, it's the same impeller. So at uh, 497, this is 498, which is, I mean, that's, that's nothing. Because she starts reading at 495. And a mistake of 0 0.5, 4, 0 0.61, depending which one before and after. But I mean, that is well within the three the three um, grams that the computer says you can see the center is almost virtually in the center there by taking off just that point I mean if I must put the grind on this impeller and I just touch it at the spot that I'll probably get that closer but I mean that's just time wasting and uh, she's qualified so this one is is good to go good to be delivered so there we go guys that's that is uh, and uh, impeller completely balanced what i didn't show you was the the um putty that one adds to the impeller at the at the in the middle of the process more or less you add some calibration putty to it and then you put those figures into the into the computer um so that i didn't show you guys but the, there is a putty that i also use midway through the process but yes so I hope you enjoyed this video guys um, that kind of shows you the the basics of uh, of the, the dynamic balancing and also don't forget that um, this process is, is for this machine you know um, it, it will vary from machine to machine all, all machines are different they have different um, different uh, procedures so I basically showed you the procedure on my machine I hope you and also, I hope you enjoyed this video. On the, I will I'll be posting a, a more concise crankshaft balancing video as well in the near future, uh, where I balance a, a car's crankshaft, the pulleys, the flywheel, all that stuff. I'm gonna I'll show you that sometime in the near future. So don't forget to like and subscribe, not to. And hit the notification bell, guys, not to miss out on those videos if you are enjoying the videos that I'm posting. Thank you very much. Take care.